Hello there, it's Ruth Sherman, CEO and celebrity speech and media coach, but you don't have to be famous to work with me. In fact, I want to make you famous. Last week's video newsletter was all about uh, Brian Williams and his gaffe, uh, his stretching of the truth, his puffing himself up, his resume inflation, call it what you want, his lie about having been in a dangerous situation when ultimately that wasn't true has undermined his career. And the reason that I told you then that this news, this moment, this gaffe has stuck and has created such a problem for him and for NBC is that it went to the core, it undermines the core argument he makes about himself, namely that he has integrity, that he speaks truth to power, that he asks the hard quest questions and so forth, which is part of his job as a network news anchor. Now we have Bill O'Reilly, who is being attacked for pretty much the same thing. And I am wagering that this news for Bill O'Reilly is not going to stick. Now, it is still early in the game, and so it's hard to say. But my feeling is this. There are certain reasons why I believe that it won't cause as much of a problem for him as it did for Brian Williams. Number one, he is fighting back tooth and nail. Number two, Fox News is backing him. Uh, NBC really did not stand up for Brian Williams. Uh, number three, the argument, uh, the uh, expose is has been made by a very left-leaning publication, Mother Jones, and so people could say and could think that they have reason to undermine a Fox News, a popular Fox News host such as O'Reilly. But here's the main reason. O'Reilly is a puff himself up kind of guy. We expect it from him. We are not surprised that he may have stretched the truth. We wouldn't like it. And again, we don't know whether it's true or not. That still remains to be seen. But he doesn't tend to have uh, much of a sense of humor. He certainly doesn't have much of a sense of humor about himself, at least not in the broadcasts that I've seen and the appearance appearances he's made on other people's shows. Uh, and so that is why I don't think that this news will undermine him. It doesn't necessarily go to the core argument he makes about himself, even though this is interesting because it's about his presentation, even though he may say that he's a truth teller, that he speaks truth to power, that he asks the hard questions. And I believe he does say things like that about himself. It's his presentation that contradicts that. And as we all know, if the way you look and sound contradicts what you say, people are going to believe the way you look and sound instead of what you say. That is exactly what's going on here. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll see what happens. If you want to learn more about how not to puff yourself up and get into this kind of trouble, how to be great on camera, on stage, and in the media, hop on over to RuthSherman.com where you can download your free gift. And please hit subscribe. I'll see you there.